Welcome back to the Georgia State Dynasty on the Madden Ballers YouTube channel here. Georgia State is in week five and on the road for the third straight week facing off against Old Dominion. Last week they were on the road at Purdue to take on the Boilermakers and came away with their third straight victory. This week they look for the third straight road win of the season before they head back home to the Georgia Dome. Will they get it? We will find out next. That excites the Panthers have not. Old Dominion has a big time wide receiver in Ryan Slaughter. Three catches, 83 yards, and a touchdown in last week's game. And Old Dominion will get the ball to start off here in this game. Third and three, Brown looking to get the first down, and he passes that one to Slaughter for 19 yards and a first down into Panther territory here on first and 10. Brown back to pass once again. And this one is going to be broken up by Sean Johnson there. A nice defensive play. He's been big this year. Third down and 10 now for the Monarchs. Brown back to pass once again, dumping it off to Lee for an eight yard gain and Georgia State has him in a fourth down situation here. And they're gonna go for a handoff to Lumpkin up the middle, just enough for that first down, three yard gain and Old Dominion keeps this drive alive. First down and 10 now for Old Dominion. Brown back to pass once again. He's going to hit Cooper, and he's going to stiff arm his way to the first down on a 10-yard reception. Second down and 7 now for the Monarchs. Brown back to pass. Oh, he hands off to Lumpkin or Patton there, and he is pushed down in the backfield for a 3-yard loss. His third and 9 now for the Monarchs. Brown back to pass here. He's going to dump it off to the screen play to Patton, and he's going to have the first down and more inside the 10 Taken out at the 9, an 18-yard gain. First down and 10 now. Handoff goes to Brewster, and Randolph will get him in the backfield for a 6-yard loss. Second and 16 now. Brown back to pass, says he has a lot in this drive. Fires across the field to Monroe there, and he has a 13-yard gain down to the 2. Third down and 3. The pitch goes to Patton, and he will make his way into the end zone for the touchdown, and Old Dominion takes an early 7-0 lead here in this game, eating up almost half the clock in the quarter there. We have our first studio update. Arkansas State beats Western Kentucky 42-35 to remain unbeaten on the year. Georgia State takes over here, trying to improve to 4-0 as well. Smith, back to pass, is going to hit Donald Clark on the right side for a 14-yard gain. That'll give him first and 10. Smith now fakes the handoff, passes quickly to Jackson, and Marcus Jackson has that catch for 19 yards up towards midfield. Later on in the drive in minor territory, Smith back to pass once again to Jackson on the comeback route, and he takes this one down the sideline to the 10-yard line for a 30-yard gain. First down and 10, Smith back to pass quickly on a slant play to David Bailey for... About eight yards and a penalty at the end of that play. He gives him first and goal. Handoff on first and goal to Lamont George up the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. And what a big season he has had so far this year. He is close to 10 touchdowns on the season. And we're only in game number four. Old Dominion takes over after this game is tied at seven. And he is going to hit his receiver here for a big gain and a penalty. Already into Panther territory. Brown back to pass on first and ten. And he will hit Roddy Lee who keeps his feet in bounds on the sideline catch for 13 yards. Brown now handing off to Patton here who's going to try to cut it up the middle. He does. Breaks a couple tackles. Wrapped up at the ten by Quincy Randolph. Second down and goal now for Old Dominion here. Brown will hand off to Patton up the middle. And he's met by two defenders and stopped at the two yard line. A five yard gain. Third down and goal to go now. Brown will hand off to Patton and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. His second of the quarter. And Georgia State is now down 14 to seven. Our second studio update here. Texas State on top of another 14. Troy seven to three in the first quarter of that game. 
as we are late in the first quarter of our game here. Georgia State takes over Smith back to pass here, and he cannot find an open receiver, and he is pressured and sacked for a 10-yard loss. Second down and 20 now. Smith out of the shotgun here. Quick pass to Marcus Jackson on the comeback route. It works again. He's down the sideline into Old Dominion territory. A 42-yard gain. Second down and 10 now for Georgia State. As the handoff goes to Lamont, George up the middle for nine yards. And at the end of one, Georgia State's down 7-14 to to Old Dominion. Georgia State's trying to cap off this drive with a touchdown and tie this game at 14. Smith on the fake, scrambling out, throwing downfield. He hits David Bailey, who breaks the tackle, and it's pushed down at the seven-yard line. Second and goal here. Smith back to pass, looking, firing to Bailey, and trying to make his way into the end zone, but he cannot. He's down at the two. Third down and goal to go for the Panthers. Smith back to pass here quickly, and this one's caught by Marcus Jackson for the touchdown. And this get game is tied at 14 apiece now here in the second quarter. Old Dominion takes over here, second down and seven. Brown quickly out to Cooper for the nine yard gain in a first down. Georgia State's had a tough time stopping this passing attack of the Monarchs. Brown once again looking to pass and this time he's gonna hit Richardson for a big gain downfield on third down and 13. They're into Panther ter territory at the 27 yard line. A pitch here to Patton, and this one's going nowhere. A five yard loss on the pitch to Patton. This will set up a third down and nine for Old Dominion. Brown looking to pass here. He's gonna hit Slaughter over the middle, but he is wrapped up three yards short of the first down, and Georgia State gets a big stop and holds Old Dominion to a field goal. 17-14, Old Dominion now as Georgia State takes over. Smith on the read option will keep this one himself. 14 yards and a first down on that one. Second down and 10 now. Smith will hand off to Lamont George, and the Panthers have had a tough time running on this Old Dominion defense, and George goes for no gain. Third down and 10 now. Smith out of the shotgun, passing here, lobbing it up into triple coverage. But somehow David Bailey comes out with it and gets extra yards into Old Dominion territory. Second down and in inches now. Smith back to pass, scrambling around, firing downfield deep to the end zone. And Marcus Jackson cannot come up with it. Third down and in inches now for the Panthers. Smith will keep it on the read option up the middle and get enough for that first down and keep the drive alive for the Panthers. Second down and 10 now. Smith looking, firing quickly over the middle to Mark Moore, making his way forward for 14 yards in another Panthers first down. Second down and 10 now. Smith looking to pass. They've done a lot of passing today. This one's caught by Marcus Jackson inside the five, a 15 yard gain. First down and goal. Smith firing quickly to the end zone for Donald Clark. He was not looking though and the pass goes out of the end zone. Second down and goal now for the Panthers out of the shotgun. Smith will fake the handoff. Look, he's scrambling around. He can't find the open. He fires at the last second into the end zone for the touchdown to Marcus Jackson. His second touchdown catch of the day. And Georgia State takes a 21-17 lead heading into halftime. 21-17. Lots of points in that first half from both teams. How will the second half go? Georgia State with the ball first. Smith back to pass, firing downfield and caught by Marcus Jackson into Old Dominion territory. A big gain, a 30. Looking at the halftime stats, both these teams putting up big numbers. Georgia State, 213 yards passing through the air in the first half. Back to this drive now. It's first and 10. Smith. Back to pass once again, and this one's caught by David Bailey, making his way ahead for 15 yards and another first down. Smith under center now will hand off to Lamont George, trying to get the outside corner, and he will make his way forward for six yards. That'll set up a second down and four out of the shotgun. Smith looking, stepping up, firing, and caught by Jackson for 12 yards down to the one or two yard line. First and goal to go here. Georgia State is going to hand it off to George up the middle to the end zone for the touchdown. And Lamont George has his second touchdown of the day. Old Dominion takes over now, down 28-17. Brown looking to pass. He's going to fire to the sideline. And somehow Ryan Slaughter keeps his feet in bounds. 
and makes the first down catch. Second down and 10 later in the drive. Brown trying to set up the screen, but it is a sack instead by Quincy Randolph. A loss of 10. Third down and 20. Georgia State's had a hard time stopping this passing attack. And once again, a third down is converted. 21-yard gain in a first down for Old Dominion. Brown now back to pass. He's going to try to put this one back to the receiver. And it is broken up by Sean Johnson. A backwards pass ends up in a fumble and a recovery by Old Dominion. Third and 18 now. The screen play to Patton. He's got it, and he's tripped up short of the first down marker. Only a 12-yard gain, and they have to punt. Georgia State takes over here, 28-17. They are up by Smith back to pass on second and 10, and he is going to be pressured and sacked. A loss of 10 yards, third down and 20. Smith back to pass it here. He's going to fire deep and somehow threads the needle to Mark Moore for the first down. Big plays by Georgia State. Smith under center will fake the handoff here. Look, step up, throw deep to Marcus Jackson, one-on-one, -on -one, and he's got the catch downfield inside the 10, a 49-yard reception. And Smith is now over 350 yards passing, and Marcus Jackson just broke the school record for receiving yards in a game with over 200. A quick pass on first and goal to Donald Clark goes for a touchdown in Georgia State is up 35 to 17 here in the third quarter. We get another studio update here of the Texas State Troy game. Texas State still holding on to a lead 28 to 24 in the fourth quarter. As we get back to our game, Old Dominion has the ball towards midfield and this screenplay goes to Patton. He is going to stiff arm his way to almost a first down but they come out on fourth and inches and decide to go for it down by 18 late in the third. Patton gets the handoff and the first down out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Brown will fake the handoff. Look, he's gonna fire to Lumpkin downfield inside the 20, a 15 yard gain. And at the end of three quarters, Georgia State is on top 35 to 17. Old Dominion will try to make a fourth quarter comeback here down 35 to 17 and driving here deep in Panther territory. This pass to Patton gets him inside the 10 and add on a few more yards with that penalty. Brown now hands off to Patton on first and goal, but he can only make it to the one yard line. Second down and goal. Brown back to pass, firing quickly to the end zone and intercepted by Jerome Schroeder as he tiptoes the line there. And Georgia State takes over after the turnover. Smith hands off to George up the middle. He will go for the first down and more. A big gain on the ground for Lamont George. Third down and nine now for Georgia State. Smith back to pass. He's going to hit Trevor Phillips as he heads out of bounds there after the catch for the first down. Smith now under center, will hand off to George on the delay, up the middle, he will make it 11 yards on the ground and a first down for Georgia State. They're knocking on the door here, first and goal. Smith back to pass, looking, firing to the end zone, oh, and almost intercepted there in double coverage. I think that was intended for Donald there. Third and goal here, Smith back to pass, steps up and fires to Marcus Jackson for the touchdown. And Georgia State goes up 42 to 17. Smith now has four touchdown passes on the day as we get a studio update here. And Texas State has completed the upset 28 to 27 over number 14, Troy. Old Dominion takes over here in our game. Down by 25, third down and four. Brown keeping on the read option. Has the first down and more. A juke eludes a defender there and gets him into Panther territory. A 22 yard gain. Second down and three now for the Monarchs. Brown looking to pass. They need to score quick here. The pass to Monroe is good for five yards and a first down. Third and eight now for Old Dominion. Brown back to pass here. He's going to fire and hit Lee. And Roddy Lee there has an 18-yard gain inside the five. First down and goal. Brown will hand off to Brewster here. And Evan Brewster gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And Old Dominion is now within... 18 points the onside kick will determine this game and Mark Moore recovers this one 
for Georgia State, and Georgia State can just run out the clock, but instead, they try to put up some finesse points here. Smith back to pass on first and 10, fires deep to Marcus Jackson for the 30-yard touchdown. Number five for Smith on the day. That is like number four for Marcus Jackson, and the Georgia State Panthers can celebrate a victory. A big one is Marcus Jackson, his player of the game. Four touchdowns, 254 yards receiving. And Georgia State gets the victory on the road, 49-24. Taking a look at other games around the country, Boise State beats Colorado State 38-20. Duke takes down Louisville 45-21. And number 15, Rutgers, goes down. Looking at the stats from our game today, Georgia State lackluster on the ground, 97 yards rushing, but a performance through the air of 431 yards. Marcus Jackson, your offensive player of the day, 12 catches, 254 yards, four touchdowns, records throughout that stat line. And Quincy Randolph on defense. Head coach Chip Nolan has an upgrade, and we will upgrade the setup artist there. For him, we will move on to recruiting here and just want to quickly go through the recruiting board here. We are still have our top prospects here. We have no commits yet. Thomas Hendricks, our number one overall prospect. We are looking at middle linebackers, outside linebackers, guards, and centers are what we are looking for. And maybe some little fill-ins here and there, defensive tackle, tight end as well. So we will come back to that when we have more information on that. But we advance to week six. And we are not ranked in the top 25. We are 4-0 with three straight wins on the road. And we'll be facing off against Idaho. I cannot believe we are not in the top 25 yet. But I think if we can get a win against Idaho, who is 0-3, we can get into that top 25. But we need to make it convincing. We are meant to put up points and put up yards. So we need to do that against Idaho. So we will see if we can do that in the next episode. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.